All right, hi guys, this is my first video. It's 11 o'clock at night, October 20th, uh, my Grammy's birthday actually. And I wanted to just make a quick video for me to look back on and for others to see now to be able to um, join in on me on my lovely adventures. So, I have just finished Tuesdays with Maury love this book um i would love to start actually a book club on here of just going over uh one book and reading a chapter of, before each video another book that i have read is maya angelou even the stars look lonesome i finished them both around the same time I read a chapter of this at night and a chapter of this during the day and they were really short chapters so it was easy to implement their ideas throughout my day and not feel like I have to sit for too long and read something without getting my daily things done in time. So was, I like this method of one book in the morning, one book at night. and. Um, Tuesdays with Maury was a really good one to relax to and actually get excited about reading because I don't know if you guys know, but it was on, I think it was on Oprah's book club. I know she read it and that's how I got to it, but it's talking about a man who got ALS, which is the Lou Gehrig's disease where your muscles start to atrophy and everything starts to go all the way down to you being able to breathe and that's what Stephen Hawking's had and uh, this was a former teacher Maury was a former teacher of a young man who had a busy life made good money he came back to talk to his old his his old teacher because he saw him on Dateline they were doing a story on him he had such a great impact on the world and he would go every Tuesday and talk with his old professor. This old professor did classes in college um, about life and one of the things that he did what, um, on their very first class was he sat there. You see how uncomfortable that was? When the kids sat down and the whole time he sat there for like five minutes and um, Mitch, the writer of the book, was talking about how it was so uncomfortable and he was watching kids like look through the window or like looking at their watches and Maury said, okay, well that is a social experiment showing the uncomfortableness of silence. And that tied into the book because Maury was becoming comfortable with everything, with death, ultimately. It was so beautiful. Now when it comes to Maya Angelou, even the stars look lonesome. She just drops little knowledge bombs in each chapter. And it is so nice to see uh, this good in, in somebody and radiating from the book. I swear, I love, I love her. It was a good morning read to start my day. So those were perfect books. Now I get to choose new books. I'm not an avid book reader, I never have been, but I figure since I'm an English major, I might wanna start and I'm actually really enjoying it. I feel like such a nerd because just like six months ago, I was more about boys and more about boys than I was my schoolwork and reading and keeping up with myself and being healthy. So this is where I'm starting. And I've just turned 29. As you can see, my best friend, Anna, she usually makes me something like this and puts it on my door. Um, I do the same for her every year. We've done it since we were eight when we lived across the street from each other. We still try to do it and um, anyway, 29 and looking fine. That is my, that is my um, quote for, or slogan for this year. So, 
should I be a good girl and read in the morning the skillful teacher I'm kind of bored by it by just looking at it I have no idea what's inside well I'm assuming skills for a teacher this would be really good for me because I want to eventually teach. I already do teach dance to little kids and I love it. It, it takes skill. You have to learn throughout the years. It's taken me three years to learn how to properly teach classes and still every day can be a struggle, but it's very rewarding if you actually know what you're doing. Mm, this, and I might, I don't know, morning or night? Let me know. If I bring this about, should I read it in the morning or night? Will it bring me, I mean, it was $4. That doesn't mean anything. This was half price books, all books that are cheap. I mean, like Tuesdays with Maury was seven. It doesn't mean, it doesn't make the quality of the book any better, but okay guys. I really want to be a bad girl and read this during the day. Forget about teaching kids in that importance. Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man by Steve Harvey. I took the cover off because I was embarrassed to read it in public and have Steve Harvey on there with his smile. <laughs> I can't do his smile, but he has really white teeth. This would be really enjoyable because he's funny and he's talking from a man's perspective towards women, what you should look for in a man. But here I am not looking for a man. I mean, I'm talking to somebody, of course, but I don't need this in my life, but I wanna know. I'm so I'm all about psychology and what a man thinks and he's given us the insight. Should I be bad or should I be good? I've got a year till graduation. What should I do? Let me know in the comments, okay? Now, I think this would be day read and night read. Oh gosh, I've got so many. Guys, if you haven't read this, I want to start this for our book club. Okay? Now, I have only read this little bit. It's not even a full chapter. Now, they're long chapters, but we can read a chapter, um, read a chapter a week or read a chapter a day. Guys, if you want to get in on this, let me know. I'll start this instead. I mean, this over anything. I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Republican. Honestly, I look more into the system of, hmm, huh, not really either. And what are these systems forming? Uh, I don't think anybody is fully either, but I don't care. This woman, she's amazing. She has accomplished a lot. She has done a lot of good for the world. So I'm gonna read about her. Now, there are also some gif, gif crazy choices around here, but Telling Stories by Cherie Paris Edwards. She actually came to my university and signed the book. I told her I wanted to read this and I'm going to use this as my night read, okay? I want to do these as my day and night. Now this, this would make her very happy if you guys got it. But uh, you'll have to look it up. And I think, you know, they're online. I got this directly from her. And I have a picture with her. But I want to read this and then I want to interview her because that's kind of something I want to do too. I love getting to know people and people who've accomplished things. Something interesting about her, real quick, is that she has two grown kids, 
she started writing as an older woman and um, she didn't know what she was doing with her life as an older woman she tried to enlist in the military she said she almost um, shot somebody I think she didn't know how to handle the gun and um, she left so I think her story has got to be really interesting she's kind of quirky and um, I love I love that about her so that would be a fun read and I think I'm gonna do it I'm not a very fictional person I like to read real real life obviously by my last two books this is real this really happened this really happened and I'm so sad I didn't get to meet her but to wrap up the video guys let me know can we can we do this and everybody comment um and we'll go over it together one chapter a week i think that sounds good to me so or one chapter a day i don't know what does everybody have time for whether you join or not i'm doing it meaning i'm going to read and i'm gonna and i'm gonna post videos so I hope people start joining in. If not, I don't, it's okay. It's okay. But anyway, yeah. So I am excited also because I have gotten tickets to see Oprah in February. I went ahead and grabbed two tickets at $79.50 each, which rounded out to like 200 because of all the charges of Ticketmaster. But, and it's side seating, so it's gonna be on the, it gave you a warning, side seating. I'm taking my mom, I wanna see Oprah. She's getting older, doesn't mean that, you know, doesn't mean anything, but I want to see her. I love, her and her struggle and how she's persevered. I love these stories because I took 10 years of my life thinking, what the F am I doing with myself? And um, these people can relate. Mm -hmm. They're hard workers. Oprah, Michelle Obama, um, Maya Angelou, they are they are hard workers in different ways. Maya Angelou, she loved men too, just like me. So I can relate with her on that. She still accomplished all this stuff. She had a child at the age of 17, I believe. Maybe younger. Don't quote me on that. But she had struggles. And she, you know, took a while to get to where she wanted to be. To get this knowledge oprah had struggles too they both openly said that they were raped as children and to get through that oprah even slept outside she was forced to sleep outside when she moved in with her mother <sighs> these struggles i really hold these people deep in my heart so i'm excited to see oprah anyway I'm going to end this video at 13 minutes. Wow, time gets away. But um, I'm going to start this stuff. Age 29, looking fun. Going to get some people online to join in on my crime of reading books on a time limit. Just kidding. I am ridiculous. Okay. All right, guys. Have a great day or night whenever you're watching this. And I can't wait.